Hello, how are you doing? My name is Joaquin Aspiazu and welcome to my talk for the test drive about how did we manage to test voice mod, which is a self client using Selenium and Python. Uh, so I joined voice mod some months ago and what 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 is voice mod exactly? Voice mode is a software that is enabling you to change your voice in real time. Maybe because you want to use uh, play video games, or maybe because you want to express yourself having a different voice. Let let me show you how this works. Maybe you want to have a very special voice for a certain occasion. I see the package is behind the building. I'm checking it out now. Over. This is Ghost Rider requesting permission for flyby. My name is Lara Croft and I'm going to kick your ass. Or maybe I just like to sing. I don't know how, but I want to express my voice in very different ways because this is fun for me. Whatever. Yeah, that's voice mode. How do you test voice mode? Well, I was asked to write some automation in order for running our regression test faster. So uh, we started using Catalon. Catalon is a very nice tool. Uh, and the way that we managed to get Catalon linked with voice mode by was using it as a window. But voice mode isn't really a window app, so we were not able to interact with it in a, in a way that was fluid, for us, right? We, we thought that it had to be a better way to get to the DOM to interact with the elements by themselves. So we found that there was some documentation about how to make this work, some uh, tutorials out there, which this is uh, well, well explained, but we somehow didn't understand how to do this. Then we found this talk about this uh, Michael and Philip. They gave a talk in the Selenium Conf in India explaining how they managed to make it work. And this, this, this was a very good talk for us because we, somebody had shown to us that, hey, there is a path. Just keep on, keep on trying it. Uh, the point for us in which we finally make it work was when we understood that the Chrome Ride driver the Chrome driver that we are using for our test has to be the same version of the Ceph client in which we run our app. Once we managed to get this together, we were able to run our first test. Okay. But we didn't know Python. We, neither of us, uh, the, we, neither of the testers had experience writing Python. So we went to the Test Automation University and we did the different tutorials that are going to teach, to teach you uh, good enough basics to keep you going. And this is important because then you get some progress and you are able to write your first test. Okay? Uh, when you write the first test, you want to follow a, a, a pattern. So we use this page object schema in which we are able to to write the, the code using a format that is easily understood for the rest of the team. And then at some points when you have more than one file, you want to have a runner to be able to run your different tests and your different suites and everything, right? Because by this point, we have our app, we have our test in place, we are able to run the different tests. For some of the tests, we needed to have a different tool, which uh, happened to be Auto IT. This is a tool that is able to write small scripts for interaction with the operative system. For example, if you want to upload a file, then you are not able to do this in Selenium because the form that it opens is the Windows form, it's not the web browser form. Okay, but using a auto IT tool, we were able to write small exe files and then run those exe files from our Selenium code. So this has been the way for us to, 
to make this uh, to to solve these kind of problems. Okay, and I think that's it. Uh, what I want you to understand is that I didn't know when I joined this company. I didn't know how to write code in Python. I didn't know how to automate this in a Ceph client, but I knew that whatever challenge I was going to face, I was going to find a way to fix them. Whatever problem I will find, I will go to find a workaround around this problem, right? Uh, it's very important that you take apart some time to learn how to do new things, because that's the way you are going to learn how to improve your, uh, your own work over time. And this has been somehow the the path that we have been uh, following. There is a way to automate uh, Ceph client apps. You can use Python and Selenium. They work very well together. And if you learn how to do these kind of things, it's very nice that you share this information like I'm doing now because somebody will come after you and they might find very useful the information that you are sharing here. Uh, I think this is it. Uh, thank you so much for your time and your attention, and I wish you a very nice day.